Hey guys, I'm Brad Utterstrom, Brad U. Um, and I just got this snazzy new webcam. So I've been waiting to do this for quite a while to uh, do a tutorial type <clears throat> type of video where I'm actually drawing. So here goes. Um, I'm actually feeling pretty pretty crappy today. So maybe this isn't the best day to start this, but you know, sometimes like if, if I'm not feeling great, I just have a really productive day. It's like, I'm, it's not going to be a great day for me anyway. So let's make the most of it. So I'm going to draw and tell you guys about it. Um, doing this sketch card of Daryl from the walking dead. It's on. I think a watercolor paper from from the little artist trading card packs like pre-cut and everything which is not the best but it's all I had at the moment when I started it so I didn't have all my stuff with me <clears throat> so I just went with it not my not my preferred okay so I do Copic markers um, a little bit of background on my process is, which I already shot a video about this, but I print up my reference photos to size. So I'm pretty darn close to the exact size I'm going to draw it. I draw right next to it. I've seen artists who tape down their stuff, but I'm always like moving the image. So, um, oh, excuse me. And I, so I don't tape it down or anything. So I've already done my, uh, Pencil, light pencil drawing, and then the uh, inking, I guess you'd call it, of the outlines, which I try not to do too much of that. Not sure how well you can see this. It sucks. When I first turned this on, I feel like the video was like nice and clear, and now that I'm actually shooting it, it just looks like it's kind of whitewashed, but I'm just going to roll with it and do my best. So I'm using uh, warm gray Copics on this one, Copic markers. Um, and I know you're supposed to go light to dark and I don't, I sort of do that, but not, not always. I kind of work back and forth. I, I usually start with the zero and, and lay in, just lay in a layer of anywhere that it's a light, um, a light area. I lay that in and for the dark areas, I will go. A little bit darker right from the get-go just so I'm not wasting too much time and doing too much layering um, anyway this is gonna be kind of weird because I want to I want to describe what I'm doing but at the same time it takes you know it takes a while to do a drawing um, so I don't know if I can talk that long about what I'm doing but I don't want there to be like these long awkward silences either so I've got some things I can ramble on about anyway so this is my first um, art cast I guess you'd call it I've been watching some other artists do art casts and I've been inspired by them for sure um, Jeff Lafferty was the first one I started watching got a couple of Dave Gaskins videos he's really he's a really good artist too and he does some sketch cards um, he doesn't have a ton of videos though, but I think I've watched everything he's posted up. And then, uh, Kevin Cross's 100 Days of Comics, which he just started up again, so he's gonna do a second run. And I, you know, as I'm watching those, I never thought I was gonna do that, but I did want to do a tutorial video at some point. But now that I'm shooting daily videos of my art updates, um... I'm calling it 28 Days Later, a sketch card a day for the month of February. Now that I'm doing that, I'm just into it. I enjoy it. I look forward to it. Like I said, today is not the best day for me to do, do my first art cast video. But I got up and went out and got this webcam. And so I was all excited to do it. So I was like, I don't care if I feel like crap. I'm just going to do this. Um, so this is... Warm gray five, W five. I'll do some of the darker areas here. Like that. You don't want to go too dark. You can always go darker. Um, 
um, and you can't go lighter. Well, you kind of can actually. There's a pretty cool, what is it called? Colorless blender, which is sort of like an eraser for markers. Um, I am going to make this background just kind of dark and not not too specific or detailed. His, his jacket or whatever he's wearing just kind of melds into the shadow there. Um, so I'm just going to try and mimic that and not really... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't go too dark on his... actually on his neck yet. So, like I said, I got up this morning, ran out and got this webcam, which uh, I think I got a pretty good sale. It only costs like 40 bucks. And it was like 20 bucks off at Best Buy. So, I spent... <laughs> I spent entirely too long um, trying to jimmy this up so that I could see what I'm drawing at the right angle. Oh my god, it was ridiculous. I feel like such an idiot. I know it's not supposed to be that hard. Come on. Um, but I found this lamp that's got like a clip on it. So I clipped that to my drawing board and I taped the webcam to the lamp because I can't, um, I couldn't figure out how to get it to clip and stay. So I taped, did this little tape job. It looks ridiculous. I'm going to have to post a picture of it or something just because it's like absurd. So I'll, I'll figure it out, man. Like I said, I'm not, I'm feeling um, really scatterbrained and not at all organized and, and whatever. But I don't know what else to do, so I figured I'd draw. <laughs> and start this video. Um, I had another one I was thinking about doing just because I'm not really sure if this is going to work out. I don't know if the video quality is going to be that great. It looks all right now that I'm drawing, I guess. Um, so I hate to call this a tutorial because that makes it sound like I'm saying this is a good way to do it. And I don't really feel like that as an artist. I'm not like trying to tell people the right way to do sketch cards or drawing or whatever. But I also think people are interested in, I know myself, I'm interested in seeing what other artists do. And so it's like, you know, there's probably some people who will appreciate seeing my process and the fact that I print up my photos to scale and all that jazz. Um, I've seen artists drawing on their phone, and I'm not going to say I can't do that, but it seems ridiculous to me to just pull up a picture on your phone and draw it that way. It's like, uh, it's a little too dark maybe, it's alright, I'll work it out, I'll work it out. It, I can do it, um, and obviously, you know, other people are doing it, it works, it's fine, but to me, any little bit to help the drawing turn out better is worthwhile. So by printing it to the actual size, I'm going to draw it. It's just, it's just easier to get it accurate. Um, and accuracy is the key to any kind of life drawing or portrait drawing or what, whatever, however you want to call it. So I print my photos to scale. I'm going to use that blender that I talked about and just kind of touch that. Just touch it a little bit. Um, I also don't have a clue how long this video is going to be. It might be. I'm already at nine minutes and I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> it might be like an hour and I might never even figure out how to post it. Who knows? Man. Did you hear that? I just clicked my marker to the lamp. That's how much it's crowding my space. <laughs> so I've got to figure out a better plan. But in a pinch, it works. And so here I am drawing. Yay. Yay. So um, I don't know how many people are going to see this. Actually, you know what? A lot of people will probably see this because it's my first one. But I guess what I meant is... I don't know that I have like all these regular viewers, and that's all right. Um, I would like to get some regular viewers; that'd be cool. But I'm not sure. 
not really sure how to go about that or if it really matters all that much or whatever. Um, so I'll work that out later, I guess. But like I was saying, I think some people will see it because for something like this, a lot of just like my Facebook friends and stuff, people I went to high school with or whatever, might be interested in seeing my process. Not probably not going to sit and watch a whole 45 minute or whatever video if that's what I end up doing. But they probably will flip through, um, flip through and check it out. You know what I mean? I do that when I'm looking at videos on YouTube of people doing art. I don't sit and, and watch the whole thing. Usually, um, I listen. If they're talking, I listen to the whole thing usually. But then I'm not watching. I'm I'm drawing myself. Not drawing myself. I myself am drawing too while I listen. So this is kind of what I was saying. I'm going, I'm going really light and I would like to get more, is it confident with the marks I make and do the right shade from the get go, pick the right darkness or whatever. Um, but I just don't do it that way. I kind of have to work through things. And that's also why I thought it might be interesting to see my process even to watch it back myself and see what it's like see how it comes together because this one is looking okay actually but a lot of times I feel like when I'm drawing this lady at work asked me the other day if, if I feel awkward if people are watching me draw or whatever and I've always I always have it's funny I'm obviously getting over that because I'm drawing in front of the world or whoever cares to watch now but um, sorry, <clears throat> table's not very sturdy. Holy cow, lost my train of thought. Guess that's going to happen. So, I'm a little bit, um, I feel a little bit awkward drawing in front of people because I'm not one of those people who makes the, the right mark right from the start every time. I've seen artists like that where it's just like, it just seems like everything they do turns out perfect. And, and if they were to take progress shots, it's like, oh man, it looks awesome. Just stop right there. Don't even keep drawing because it looks great the whole way, you know. And I don't feel like that's how I am or how I draw at all. I feel like a lot of times I'll be drawing and drawing and it's like, it looks like crap. And and I just keep working, keep working through it and work it out. Um, it's kind of, that's just kind of how I do things. Yeah, see, this is coming out way too light. Um... So maybe I should just get bold and go darker, but I'm a little hesitant. Um, so that's it, you know. Hey, that's real. I'm, I have I have insecurities about my art. And I don't want to make mistakes, and in the meantime, I end up drawing for a really long time on something I could probably do quicker by being courageous. Maybe that's something I gotta work on. Like go straight for it. Oh man. So um like I said I kind of work back and forth. Um I'm not I didn't go all light and keep making it darker and darker. I already put in some darks. Ooh, that's pretty dark. Going for it. I'm doing it folks. Here it is. Nice and dark on the neck. Um, and like I said, I'm not really sure this is a tutorial because it's sure not like this is how you should draw. But I think my sketch cards are pretty decent. And, uh, and so I wanted to show how I do it. Not to toot my own horn, but I'll toot my own horn a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I love drawing. I love what I do. I love doing sketch cards and uh, the, everything from the process to the collecting aspect to getting getting my art out there and seen and hearing feedback from other from collectors or from artists. Um, so I guess I am tooting my own horn a little bit. 
So I think my, since I started doing sketch cards, I think my work has come, come a long way. Is that the right way to say it, maybe? Not like a long way, but if you look at the consistency of, say, my presidential set that I just did, or uh, Sons of Anarchy, which I haven't shown yet, but at some point you'll be able to see them. Um, but if you look at the, those, are a couple of the last sets I did. If you look at the consistency there compared to some of the earlier sets I worked on, like the leaf stuff, I'm not saying like that my leaf drawings weren't were bad. Um, they were all right, but they just were a little bit less consistent. It's like I have a few that I really love and was happy with, and then I have some that weren't as strong. Um, and I feel like I'm getting better at not having those ones where it's like, ah, oh, this one's not as good, where they're all kind of up to a certain standard, or, or I hope they are anyway. So what's my next step here? How do I go darker without going too dark? So this is what I'm talking about. I'm looking at this mine here. It looks, it does not look good right now to me, but I'll work it out. I am pretty confident about that. I can, you know, if I keep working at it, I will get it the way that I want it. So, what do I have to ramble on about? This is actually one of the reasons I wanted to do the art cast thing. I think I like to talk and just ramble, and when I started doing these daily videos of my progress, I, I feel like I got to rush, like I got to say everything I want to say really fast, finish up the video and move forward. And, you know, watching some of these art casts that go, man, those artists weekly hangouts or whatever. I watched a few of those hours and hours. And it's like, I don't want to do one for hours. Don't get me wrong. I just want to. I'm glad I don't have to feel like I have to rush or say everything really, really fast to worry about forgetting to say something. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna forget to say some of the things I wanted to say. Round three, let's go darker down here. Um, so, other things on my mind. What's on my mind? Talked about the stupid webcam. How hard it was to jimmy that up, but I got it. I mean, it's fine, right? You can see what I'm drawing. The funny thing, though, is um, I was trying to figure out a way to just like have it so that it's looking at my drawing great, and then if I want to say something or whatever, if I want to look at me, just tilt it up and so you can see me or whatever. But it's not going to work that way. <laughs> I, I had the hardest time trying to figure that out. So if, you, if I want to say hi or if you guys want to see me, I'm going to be upside down. I don't know. Oh my god. That's just my nose. I shouldn't have done that. Never mind. So the point is, uh, you can't see me. <laughs> John Cena. You can't see me. That was a sketch card I did yesterday. Oh, we're losing track of my days already. Just trying to keep going and get things done. So today is February 14th, Valentine's Day. And um, in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I just have to say that my wife is awesome. I am the luckiest guy alive. Um, I'm really lucky to have her. We are good together. We are happy together. And she's just amazing. She's awesome. So anyway, the reason I'm saying that right now, in particular, there's a lot of reasons, but in particular right now I'm saying that because it's Valentine's Day and she got me something like 12 presents or something for tw I'm opening one a day started a couple days ago um, and I have like 12 presents to open that's above and beyond you know like that's just so so cool and thoughtful and sweet and I still need to get her something cool. I have an idea. Not get her, but um, I do have an idea. I'm not going to spoil it. Not that she's going to watch this. <laughs> but 
anyway, I feel like I like I owe her big time for this one, you know? It's just really cool of her to do. And there's a different card for each day, too. <laughs> Not, I don't think there's 12 cards, but close. All right. Um... Going slow. It's going slow. And I've been drawing for 20 minutes already. See, I'm not going to say I should be done, but I'm just going to keep going. Oops. Clanking around. I didn't put on any music or anything because I just was a little bit afraid it was going to be W7. This is about as dark as I go. A little bit afraid it was going to be too distracting in the video to have music. Um, the flip side is I feel pretty kind of awkward <laughs> because I have to fill up the void with talking the whole time. So one of my weaknesses, I guess I'd say, slightly, slight weaknesses, is that I tend to not go dark. And, you know, contrast is so important, especially in a black and white or grayscale drawing and yet I don't use black hardly ever and I'm not sure why maybe I should start maybe it's just part of my style but I tend to go this is W7 that's about the darkest I usually go sometimes I'll use the 9 and I probably should because this is a drawing with a lot of darkness um, so maybe I'll go to 9 later oh. I think this needs a refill too. So if you don't have Copic markers or don't use them or aren't familiar with them, here's the deal. They're like seven bucks a marker. You can get them for closer to five online at certain art stores. Uh, Carpe DM, I think, is the one I use the most. Buy from the most. They're like five bucks each. Um, but they're refillable, so that's nice. And the refills cost about the same. Here's a refill. I'm out of that one almost. W0. That is my most used marker because I have not had to buy a second refill for any marker yet. That one I'm going to have to buy real soon. Um, I have mixed feelings about this cardstock, like I said. I kind of like it that it's got a little bit of a texture to it but it's a little flimsier than I would like to. I usually use, for my own PSCs, I usually do, PSC is personal sketch card. Um, I usually do watercolor paper, which is what I think this is, but I think the one I usually do is a little thicker. And I go, I just go to the art store near my house, or my mom's house, I guess. Um, and I buy like a, little tablet of it and they're nice enough to just cut them up to size for me um so i just got some the other day because i was down to using this <laughs> went in there just for that so that's the way to do it i want to get some some psc sketch cards on my own personal card stock at some point I don't know what's holding me back. I've been talking about doing that for a good year. And I think I even, I can't remember who it is, but I think I even have a customer who was like a while ago, like six months ago, saying he wanted to get something, but he would wait till I got my card stock. So um, I should get on that. So part of this monthly, or this month art challenge thing that I'm doing, challenging myself anyway, is that I got this little um, spiral notebook. How's that looking? Huh? Uh, all right. Got this little spiral notebook and I'm writing down things I want to do, need to do, should do. Um, sorry. So it's a little dry. I'm going to take a sip here. Whew. You guys hanging in there? So I did a good deed today. I think it's a good deed. There's this kid across the street. He's probably, I don't know, 10, maybe. Maybe not even 10. 
little dude's always shooting hoops or throwing a ball around or whatever sometimes with his friends but usually it's just just him and he's just this nice little guy um he always waves at me or he'll come knock and say ah i threw the football over the fence can you go get it (laughs) and so i've had those type of interactions with him quite a bit for not quite a bit but guess what i'm saying is i've had only those interactions and when i came back from buying my webcam this morning he was out there shooting hoops he waved at me and so i hopped out of the car and i said hey buddy what's your name and i talked to him for a second um because i was like you know i'm always we're always waving to each other but i was like maybe i should say hi you know be a cool dude about it (laughs) and uh i was like who's your favorite basketball player he says chris paul i said oh man I, i was hoping you'd say jordan or lebron and he goes oh i like michael jordan i just don't like lebron I was like, all right, dude, here, hang on one second. And I I grabbed a couple of my sketch cards for him. Um, I gave him gave him the Michael Jordan collector crate card and Bones Jones and Peyton Manning. So I just thought that would be kind of a nice thing to do. Thought, I, I thought of doing that a long time ago. And I don't know why I didn't do it before, but it just seemed like... He's just out there shooting, so I was like, hey, buddy. Anyway, good deed, I guess. It's not a big deal, but I thought it might be a cool way to connect with the neighbor kid. It cracks me up when he's always coming over to get a ball out of the, out of the backyard. Um, and I'd go back there sometimes. He'd be like, I think, I, I think my ball went over the fence. And I'd go... Uh, I'd go get it and find like four or five balls back there. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Wondering where that went. Um, let's see. Need to go. Need to go darker. Quit pussyfooting, Bradler. Bradler. That's another of my nicknames. My dad always called me Bradler, so my brother does sometimes just to be funny. I guess it's funny. I like it. Bradler. So I feel like I'm talking to myself. I guess I am. But it's kind of fun. I just don't know if I can do a whole... <laughs> whole talk the whole time while I'm drawing. This is going to take me a while. I sometimes... A drawing comes together just real nice. Just boom. It's turning out. It's fast. And sometimes I really got to work through it. And today, sadly, because I'm shooting this video, um, but today feels like one of those days I'm just going to have to kind of keep working through it. And that sucks because I planned on showing this video, you know, posting it. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um... To be honest, I don't. I know it's pretty easy to upload a five or ten minute video, but I do not know how easy it is to upload a half hour plus. I know this might. I'm at 28 minutes. Am I halfway done? Probably not. This might be an hour. Um. So I don't know. I don't know if I should be doing this or not, but like I said, I was I was just excited to do this, to get this webcam going, and yapping about it for a while, so it was time to do it. Less talk, more walk, is that it? Is that the same? So what else has been going on for me? Um, works pretty good. For those who don't know, I work at a school. Special Ed High School. Well, it's a, it's actually a middle school, but my class is the one high school class. And I know for um, certain reasons, I'm not supposed to say too much about you know kids' names or whatever. But I like it. It's sometimes it feels like a horrible job, and sometimes it feels like a great job. But that's my day job. Um, but I really do like connecting with the kids and and I get um, 
That's the word. You get a pretty good bond with some of the kids. Um, I work one on one with this particular student mostly. So I mean, there's five kids in the class, but I primarily work with the one guy. And in doing so, I, I am able to, you know, make a better connection. The guy I worked with last year, we were buddies too. Um, we we're working close with the same kid. It's cool. And I, you know, I love those guys. So sometimes I feel like I need to quit or want to quit and do art full time. I definitely want to do that. Not just sometimes I feel like that. That is my ultimate goal is to do this right here, drawing sketch cards or whatever, portrait art full time. Um, but right now it just doesn't make sense to do that. I want to be able to contribute financially in my marriage. Um, and the job this year or even last year too is, is better than it usually, than it used to be. Um, so I just feel like it would be stupid of me to make that switch now. I gotta hang in there while it's good because I get a monthly guaranteed paycheck. I feel like I could come close to making the same type of money with art, but the problem is it's not guaranteed. It's not, you know what I mean? Like I get a monthly paycheck from work. Art, I get paid when I do it. Um, and there is no guarantee. And sometimes it's a good month and I make a decent amount of money. And sometimes I don't sell hardly anything. So um, that is one of the things holding me back for sure. Um, as long as I like it, I get better hang in. But I, I hope I don't do it for years and years. I really want to make it with art. Going back, I feel sometimes like I mention other artists too much, but like Jeff Lafferty, who kind of got me into this art casting thing and started up the Art Casters Facebook group. Um, you know, he quit his job. That's why he started doing the daily videos. He quit his job and went for it with art. And to my knowledge, he is still making it just on art and that is awesome um so i watched his first video or whatever and i was like oh now he's talking about quitting his job to do art that's what i want to do i better watch and see how that, where this goes and so that's how i got kind of hooked on his videos and he's got a great a lot of knowledge about art and a lot of experiences that he shared so he did some 100 videos plus or he had a daily topic or whatever. He would talk about the finances of art or, I don't know, you know, any topic. And he covered a whole bunch of stuff. And then I think he hit a point where, you know, he kind of had talked about everything he needed to talk about. And so now he's not doing those individual videos anymore. He's doing working hangouts is what they call it. He and another guy, Mike Fleming, who's a... Uh, uh, wow, brain fart. Man, just, like I said, I'm not all here today. He does sculptures. That's what I was trying to say. And so they just uh, get on there and do art together and ramble on about movies and art and different stuff. I'm going with the nine. I'm going dark. Um, anyway, I think I might try and do the working hangout with them because I have a webcam and I have Monday off work. It's a holiday. And so now would be as good a time as any to, to try it. Man, this shadow is going to be tough. It's like shadows are good, but I can only, s sometimes it's like you have to draw more detail than you can actually see. And I can't see this edge here really where it goes so I'm trying to draw it draw what I don't see and it's hard to do that 
Um, but honestly, you don't. You're not really supposed to. Supposed to. You draw the shadow shapes, and that makes it work. So that's what I'm gonna try and do here. Hmm. See, like that eyebrow. I can't see that eyebrow, but I still have to kind of draw it, and then, and then maybe go over it with the the hair that's covering it will make it look better. So I do, I wouldn't quite call this photorealism, but I do draw from reference pretty much all the time. Photo, usually photographs. I can draw from life too, but can't get Daryl to sit here for me. Sit still for um, a couple hours. So this is the next best thing. I wish it weren't like that um, and that I could draw from life more. But to do any kind of fan art or sports art or sketch cards or the, the type of things I like to do to draw, it's kind of, I, I got to rely a lot on photo reference. So that's that. <laughs> like I said, I have mixed feelings about the texture here. A little texture is good, but at the same time, it's leaving all these white specks that I... Is that chin too low? I need to bring the shadow up a little more, maybe? So one of the things that's kind of weird about doing this, um, drawing and talking, is... It's a little harder to concentrate. Now I think I'll just kind of get used to that. And I'm already getting used to it a little bit. But it's like I'm not really looking at what I'm drawing because I'm so worried about what I'm saying. And it's hard, kind of hard to do that. Oh, I feel like I need to keep the video running till this is completed. But I'm not really sure I can do that. Not sure if I need a break. I, I mean, I feel you know what I mean. I wish there was a pause button. I don't think there is. I think it would just shoot a whole different video. So, like when I have to go to the bathroom, I'll be like, "Okay, you guys wait here. <laughs> I'll be back in three minutes." Um, God, now I have to go to the bathroom. Son of a nutcracker. All right, I gotta think about what my next step is here. Gotta, gotta concentrate for a minute. No, no whispering, no secrets, no secrets here, so, man, I thought I had plenty of stuff to talk about, I do, but I feel like I've run through the topics that I, you know, had kind of on my little checklist in my brain, eh, ooh, hmm, Too dark. I cheat on clothes. Um, I don't like drawing clothes and all the folds and stuff. So a lot of times I just kind of simplify it to my heart's content. Whereas some artists will do, you know, painstaking amount of detail on getting the folds and stuff. And to me, it's that's great. Um, and it looks good when you do that, but to me, I, I'd rather the focus be on the subject, the person. So that's one of the reasons that I kind of don't pay too much attention to the clothing or the backgrounds or whatever. Let's see here. Like that. There's my background. <laughs> What do you think? Looks good. This still needs a lot of work. I talked about trying not to do too many layers and whatnot, and here I am just like dinking around and and going really slow with with building up the darker values. Uh, but that's kind of how I work. I just like I said, I would like to, especially because sketch cards are just uh, the way it is. You got to bust out a whole bunch of them if you're doing a, 
an official set or whatever in a short amount of time. Man, I would just, I would like to figure out a way to make it way faster. Um, but at the same time, I, I take a lot of pride in trying to do my best work on everything I do. That is not the most, it's not the way to make the most money when you're busting out 20, 30, 50, 100 cards for a set. Um, I think some other artists who can do that kind of have it made. And I don't know, I like to think that it pays off to, to do that, to have like the integrity of the work so that like I've heard some artists say they want to make sure that their artist returns or artist proofs are better than the pack pulled cards and I don't really agree with that um, sure when I have the option to choose my artist returns I'm gonna choose the best ones but I want the pack pulled cards to be of the same quality I don't want to have like significant difference in quality so hope you can understand that all right what do I need to do to make this pull it all together here um let's see any good movies I haven't watched any movies in a while I was watching Sons of Anarchy I like to watch TV shows more than not more than movies, but because I I like to listen to something while I'm drawing. Now, I, maybe I won't now. Maybe I'll be doing this when I draw. But for that reason, I like to find a show that I like and, and watch it that way, um, just listening. So some shows, comedies are easier to do that, like The Office. I could re-watch The Office you know, a bunch of times and enjoy it just the same. Oh. Here I'm talking about integrity of work. I'm not sure I love this. I am not sure I love this. Um, maybe that means that I'll... <laughs> I'll get it to a point of near completion I guess <laughs> maybe and then keep drawing off camera for as long as I need to or come back to it be more like it mm, excuse me tonight is a UFC not a pay-per-view Brandon Thatch has the biggest fight of his career to this point he's taken on Benson Henderson who's former champ a real good fighter man Benson has no weaknesses, so I, I'm rooting for Thatch because I like, you know, good prospects to come along and pan out. There's more, it's more exciting to me if Thatch does well tonight than Henderson, but I do like Ben Henderson, and I think he's underrated, or underappreciated anyway. So I'll be watching that later on. And what time are you? It's 2.30 now. Um, I don't know. After I finish this up, I might take a break from drawing till the fight. We'll see. It's another thing I'll kind of listen to while I draw. I need to go darker, darker, darker. There we go. I'm saying it. I'm just not doing it, All right? So I'm a little afraid to show this, show my process like that, because um, it's like standing naked in front of you. I'm showing weaknesses, um, and that's fine. I, like I'm a, I have weaknesses. I'm a real person, um, but I still want it to reflect well on me and my artwork if you can see what I do start to finish oh that's one thing this one 
obviously I didn't record start to finish because I had already drawn the uh, hmm. I'd already done the pencil and the inking and stuff. But I'm going to do that if I keep up with this art casting thing or whatever. I'm going to do, uh, I already said that, I think, in one of my daily videos. I'm, sometimes I don't, <laughs> sometimes I record them and then don't post them for whatever reason. And so I kind of forget which ones I've posted and not posted. i just do that. Three, let's do two. Um, lost my train of thought again. I'll have to work on that. Can I just stop talking for a while? Draw? You guys wouldn't mind, right? You guys! <laughs> you guys. So, one thing I do want to work on, um, if I'm going to be doing this, is I want to be interesting, right? Like, I want to be interesting and likable so, so that people want to hear me talk. And I don't think that's going to come through right away on this video. Um, but that's okay. It, but it is, you know, ultimately kind of important to me that I want people to want to tune in. And I also, this has been on my mind too, I'm... I'm aware that it's even more important for the early videos to be good and interesting because if they're not, somebody might check out one or two videos and then go, oh, I don't want to watch the rest of these. So I'm not too worried about like the editing and stuff, but that's one of the reasons I went and got a webcam now instead of just talking about it and waiting um, because... You know, I, I want it to be quality enough that people want to start watching and subscribing or whatever. And I've said before, um, I don't really care if anybody watches. And that's kind of true. I do. I, I want people to watch. Don't get me wrong. But I guess what I'm, when I say that, what I mean is this is more for me than for anybody else. This is um, a way for me to stay enthusiastic about my artwork and motivated and keep after it and so that's what i that's why i'm doing this i mean um ultimately so hope nobody's offended by that but i'm not doing it for you i'm doing it for me that's the best way to be i think um i mean i hope that doesn't come across like i'm a jerk because i'm it sounds really selfish but what was the, oh, um, oh, I'm not going to say her name right. Anne Rand, Ayn Rand, uh, wrote The Fountainhead, and I read that. And it's kind of a crappy book, to be honest with you, because it's too far in that range. But it, it opened my eyes to that idea that it's okay to be selfish, especially as an artist. Do what you love, do it your way. And, uh, and other people benefit more from you doing that, from you being selfish as an artist than they would if you were not selfish and just did what other people wanted. Um, and that is kind of her philosophy. And I, I agree with that in a lot of ways. And in some ways she takes it way too far. Like there's a, if I remember right, there's kind of like a rape scene or whatever in the book. This guy's just like, take it. <laughs> I'm going to take what I want. And that's crap, you know. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about following your your heart with artwork or whatever your passion is. Do, it, do what you love. Um, and, you know... What I mean by other people benefiting from that is by doing what I love, by doing the types of drawings I want to do, they're going to turn out better. It's going to show. The love, the... 
<laughs> the love. The love is going to shine through. It's going to show. If I'm if I'm forced to draw something I'm not into. Not forced, but you know what I mean. If I let's say I take a commission that I'm just not wild about, it's harder it's harder to do your best work. It's harder to put your, you know, put everything into it and do do a great job. And so so stick to what you love and you know, people can buy your art or not. Um, and I hope they do. <laughs> buy my art anyway. Hmm. Man, I should post this up so that you guys can then give me feedback on. No, I'm not going to do that. But what I was going to say is feedback on like, oh, you need to do this. So I ask a lot of a lot for a lot of advice from my wife mostly because she's the one around but um it's good to use other people's eyes again it's like i was saying a weakness it's not really a weakness but i will ask her for help and she will point out something that i didn't see that i can fix and it's kind of the same concept as i mentioned this in one of my videos too as coming back to a drawing the next day. So that's why, um, that's why I, I pretty much never do a sketch card start to finish because, sounds a little weird there, because I want to look the next day before I go in with the ink and markers. I draw the pencil outline lightly, and then I look at it the next day to see if it needs any, any fixing. Another trick you can do is, Look at the drawing in a mirror, and something might jump at it, out at you. And you go, oh man, I didn't even see that. His nose is like, you know, not in the middle of the face. It's off to the side. <laughs> or whatever, you know what I mean? Or one eye is bigger than the other. It looks like sloth. That's my favorite way to say it. Oh my god, it looks like sloth. Oh, sorry. A little bit parched again. So I got a joke for you guys. Um, this was a joke that I remember my dad telling me when I was really little. <laughs> what did, let me try not to screw it up, what did one burp say to the other burp? Come on, are you coming up with me or are you going to stay down here and be a stinker? <laughs> Gotta love fart jokes. All right, I'm pushing an hour. Oh, jeez. Um, okay, let's, let's speed things up here. Um, what else can I talk about in terms of my process here? I'm just drawing. I'm not really describing what I'm doing. But you guys have seen, like I said, I work back and forth like I go real light and I bring in some darks and then I kind of keep meeting them keep meeting in the middle is that the way to say it um, this is probably actually a pretty good uh, good first video to show what my process is and the, the struggles I have with every drawing because I am having struggles here. Part of it's because I'm talking and I can't concentrate. For sure. Um, but also, you know, I don't know, I need to look at it later, but I think it's looking okay. Maybe not as, not my best, best work, but, you know, it's not terrible or anything. At least I hope not. drew John Cena recent the last couple days I'm not sure what day was what I drew I, but some of the ones I just finished are John Cena for a customer for his son talked about that I think in the other video from that day I drew Dave the Hammer Schultz I haven't posted that one up yet you guys will see it soon maybe I'll show it I've got it right here 
I have your face. Thank you, pretty boy. Also in warm gray. There it is. With with the reference photo. I usually, if I know that I'm going to do a black and white drawing, I'll print it up in black and white too. Just like I said, one more thing to make it a little bit easier. Um, rather than that way, you can see the values clearer and the, and the colors aren't clouding your vision or perception or whatever. Hmm. Well, there's no reason for me to stop. I just need to find what else I want to talk about. I'll talk about the old days of my artwork. So I, I took art classes in high school. Um, I wasn't really very good, to be honest with you. I wasn't, a, I wasn't terrible. I wasn't a standout by any stretch just a dude in the art class and then I went to Mount Hood Community College I took the drawing classes and stuff they had there um, I think I was just kind of starting to get a little better and I started doing celebrity portraits so not too different from what I'm doing right now uh, I did like Kath I, I did hot chicks <laughs> Catherine Zeta Jones Natalie Portman, stuff like that. But, um, back up a little bit. The one drawing changed it for me. Like, all of a sudden I go, hey, I'm not too bad at this. Um, and that was a pastel drawing I did of a tiger. Uh, it was the first one where I just, like, gained confidence. And I was like, I can do this. Um, and I am doing it. And... Yeah, then, then I started doing all those celebrity portraits and stuff, but I still have a lot of those old drawings. Should throw some, get rid of some stuff. Speaking of that, I tried to sell off some of my old MMA artwork recently, and I think I only sold, ended up selling one thing, but I've got a whole bunch of um, paintings and drawings that are just sitting there, and I don't, I don't need them. You gotta, I, I like to collect stuff, but I don't need my own artwork. Right, a couple of things, sure, but most of it I, got, I should be getting rid of it if I can. Um, <laughs> I keep thinking of things to talk about, and then I'm like, oh, but I was gonna do a specific video to talk about this, so I don't want to steal the topic. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I just need to, if I have something to say, I just need to say it. Um, and I already lost it now because I. Got sidetracked. I'll do a lot of that, I'm sure. Getting sidetracked. Um, oops. So, yeah, I totally lost it. So, I have, you guys, a lot of you guys already know this, but I have business cards, which are trading cards. Um, I've always loved trading cards, and so that's how I did my artwork, and that's why sketch cards is perfect for me, because I always loved trading cards anyway and collected them, and that's okay, this is even cooler now, I get to draw them. Um, so it's, it's kind of a weird thing, um, I initially didn't do them with the intention of selling them, but at the same time, um, it would be really nice to make back at least the money I spent on printing. So I try not to charge too much for them. Um, and I do sell them. Oh, boy. I feel like it's too... Let me see if I can... Is it, does it look a little better if I <laughs> have a shadow over it? It's, it does look pretty whitewashed on the. I'll have to figure that out. Toy with the settings or something. 
All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. And, uh, oh, I do have one more step I got to do here. But I think this is going to still need some touch ups, and I'm just going to do them later. Because, like I said, it's not, that's the way I work. I, I put things away, I come back the next day or a couple hours later and look again and find stuff to, to touch up. So I'm going to have to do that with this. But it's, it turned out okay, I think. I think so. Anyway, um, the, the last step is highlights. And there's not a ton of stuff to do to highlight here, but I'll do some. I have not found a method I really like for sketch cards with Copic markers to do the highlighting. Um, I've tried. What was that kind of paint? White paint. It's not paint. Drawing, like I said, scatterbrained, drawing blank. But I've tried painting them on. It doesn't usually work. The the my favorite method, which I'm still not crazy about, is this. It's a gel, white gel pen. Um but the highlights in the eyes especially usually take a drawing to the next level just boom oh hey now it looks cool you know what i mean i'm not saying this looks cool i'm saying that's a response i often have when i do start putting in the highlights it suddenly looks cooler <laughs> i missed i messed up the shape of his lip a little bit but see i can fix it with the highlight and then go back over the highlight with marker if I need to. And I probably will. Probably will. So for somebody who does sketch cards, these tiny little drawings, I do not have a very steady hand. I don't know if you guys can tell just by watching me draw. But I don't do like these perfect little marks like I want to. So when you're drawing hair, facial hair, whatever, hair or facial hair. One great misconception from beginning drawing students or whatever is that you have to draw every hair. You do not. You should not. You should draw, like that I just kind of, you should draw chunks of shapes, if that makes sense get the shapes right in the right spot and the shadows in the right spot and don't worry about drawing every single hair in fact it looks bad if you do to be honest um and i, I see that all the time it's like hair is tricky though don't get me wrong and it's not some people have said i'm really good at hair but i don't feel like it's something that i'm that's a strong suit for me um, it's tricky, but I think I'm pretty decent at simplifying it enough so that it looks okay, even when I don't do a ton of detail on it. And that's kind of how I draw in general, but I think it, with hair especially, it um, comes through that way. I'll try and get some of these darker darks so that so that his hair is not all the same value. This is the darkest area through here. And see, I don't know, it's giving the illusion of individual hairs by me doing this. Not individual hairs, but the way that hairs, the way that hair clumps together and things like that. Um, feeling a little bit better than I was now that I've been drawing. Like I said, I just gotta, when I'm feeling crummy, I just gotta power through and make the best of it. And that's what I'm trying to do. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, guys. Hope that wasn't too painful to sit through. I don't know if I'll post it or not. I always say that. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna post this or not, but, there it is. It's not done because I can see that it still needs some work, but I don't feel like I'm making progress at this point.
Um, looking at the screen is kind of helping me see see things like his mustache needs to be darker. Squinting is an awesome trick to see value. When you're looking at your drawing, squint. I act like I'm doing this like for beginning drawing students, and I'm really not. I just wanted to show my process, but that's a little helpful hint. If you, if you're, especially if you're working with something that has um, dramatic shadows, squint, and you'll see where it needs to be darker, or lighter, or whatever. I'm actually squinting right now while I'm drawing to see where the values, the darker values come. Ooh. This is something with Copic markers that you've got to be aware of, be careful about. You can't draw, so see what I did? I just kind of swiped there and I have some nine over here, it's really dark. And so it made, I'm using the four, uh, but it made it a lot darker right there. Um, so you gotta be careful about that move. And another thing you've gotta really be careful about is you can't, you can draw lighter to darker and they'll, it'll layer nicely and blend nicely. But if you then go light on top of a dark, it, depending on the support and depending on the colors you're using or whatever, it can really fudge it up. What's I just gonna do? I keep saying I'm done and I just keep drawing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. Eyes also are kind of cool to simplify. I really am done. This was fun. I made it over an hour. One hour, seven minutes, and 18 seconds. February 14th. Got my sketch card done today. And I'll still draw later for sure. Maybe I'll do some medical drawing. All right, guys. See you later.